For our next experiment, we're gonna, it's gonna be very, very similar to what we do with the litmus paper. Um, but litmus paper can only tell us if it's an acid or if it's a base or an alkali. Um, we're going to use a universal indicator paper or pH paper to work out what, uh, whether or not it's strongly acidic or weakly acidic, strongly basic, weakly basic. Um, and we're actually going to get a number for the pH. So you can see here on the side of my uh, universal indicator paper that there's a color wheel that goes from red through to orange, yellow, green, all the way to blue and purple. And this will tell us whether or not uh, it, uh, how acidic or how basic it is. Uh, so this is really, really cool. Um, I actually bought this from Amazon. Um, so if you wanna do this experiment at home, uh, you can, this only costs like about pound fifty. like it's really, really cheap um, and you get loads and loads of indicator paper in it. So uh, please do try this at home um, and test things and kind of work out whether or not uh, it's uh, something's an acid or a base. And if you want to, um, please write those down in your table as well, because I'd be really interested to find out what some things are. Um, okay. When you're using the universal indicator paper, you need to make sure that your scale is with you because you need to be able to read the color off the scale to be able to work out what it is the pH is. So let's try and do this experiment. Um, here we've got our first indicator paper. We're gonna try it in the distilled water. Right, let's check this against here and you can see what color that is. Right, let's go for the mineral water. Where do we think we are there? Now we're going to try for the milk. And again, think about where we are. Uh, we've got our lemonade next. Where could, ooh, where could this one be? Our lemon juice. Okay, where could this one be? Washing up liquid. Oh, what pH do we think we're looking at here? And then finally this degreaser. Oh, really nice color. Where do we think we are here? So try and use that scale to work out what the number of the pH is and just write that down in your worksheet.